got him like What's good? You too. It's your boy Easy Does TV, man. I'm back at it with another banger. We're gonna do some live reactions to some tweets that are going out live right now. And I gotta give y'all the content. We in the middle of a stream, so it, it, is, it is what it is. But I mean, hey, without further ado, make sure to hit that like button because you never know who's gonna see the video. And we need YouTube to share it out more. But without further ado, let's get into it, alright? So. Let's see where the new one started. The new one started. Dang, he been saying a lot. He been saying a lot, chat. Hold on, hold on. How much has he been answering back to people? Okay, so let's start right here. Starting from one hour. Wait, what? I seen that one. Okay, so we gotta start right here. So pretty much what this one talks about when he says, what about 5v5? This is referring to Badge Plug when he asked, what do you think the park slash stage slider difficulty will be close to on release? He said it has its own slider set, but it's closest to Hall of Fame. Then Mario asked, what about 5v5 Pro-Am? Also Hall of Fame. He, bro, people are going to be struggling. I'm telling you, people are going to be crying. For competitive people, this game is going to be good. For the people who are casuals, I feel bad for you. I honestly do. Okay, so. He said, at Baluba, have you fixed the contest system for 23? Is it the same as 22 or back to its original state like 20 and 21? He said, the contest system is pretty different from both 20 and 21. What the game, what the game considers open versus yellow versus red contests is somewhat similar to how it's been in the past, but shot windows narrow much quicker in the yellow range. So you're going to be able to green contest the shots. If you know what you're doing and you know how to time in, you got high enough range and the right badges, you're going to green contest the shots. That's all that means. Um, okay. Elijah Wan said, what about TakeOver? Does TakeOver work the same as last year where ratings fluctuate as your meter increases and are the rating boosts when and take over the same as last year and our takeover perks returning sorry for the loaded tweet yes takeover is turned or is tuned differently this year but the core of the system is the same rain drop if you go cold ratings rise as you get warm and you get an extra boost when and take takeover perks are returning also biggest change is the new team take design so for y'all that don't know what the new team tank design is, it's not how it is this year where you fill up both meters and then, you know, you can fill up that third meter and you can get your whole team tank. This year, you're going to fill up both of your meters, but now everybody on your team has to have four meters. And then as a group, you can activate team tank. Other than that, which I don't see too many people doing unless you're in like pro -Am. Because you ain't gonna be able to do it with record randoms. You have to be in a full rec fire. Which I like because you got coordinated more. Um, okay. So he said, Baluba, is the masher or is the mashup badge also similar to Mouse in the House in 22? He said, Mouse in the House was rolled up into masher. What about Grace Under Pressure? Baluba, I'm assuming that's also a part of masher. Yeah, Grace Under Pressure got rolled up in the masher also oh my god so grace under pressure and mouse in the house are now part of the masher which makes sense they uh, save me badge points but i think the badge system is gonna be subway different this year too so i don't know if the badge points are really gonna be that huge or even if it's a thing honestly okay. let's get into the next one richard mclean <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, at Baluba, in NBA 2K23, when the ball's about to go out of bounds, will you be able to save and throw back inbounds in Rex slash Prime or regular NBA games? Yes. Huge improvement in save ball reliability compared to previous years. I think it was like 2K17, you could do it consistently if you actually timed it right. But like, now, you try to die for the ball, you probably go mess around and end up touching it, and then it's going to be the other team's ball still. Like, Anytime I see someone die for the bomb, they're like, <laughs> so we'll see, bro. We'll see. People gonna be really diving for everything now, though. So it's gonna be kind of stupid because now they're gonna be out more than ever. All right, 
maybe I'm reading too much into this, but walk on rec, like 2K15's rec center, or are you guys separating squads and randoms and rec? Don't read anything into it. Walk on is just an internal name we use. Oh. So I don't think it's 2K15 rec coming back. 2K15 rec for y'all that didn't play it, it was a big like warehouse type setting and you could wear any outfit you wanted. And instead of it like loading into a game, you would walk on dots and you would wait on the spot kind of like you would for other games, like in the park and stuff. Okay, at Baluba, pull up jumpers, step back and fadeaways are really good and realistic in 2K22 when used correctly. Have they been tweaked much in 23? They're still very effective, especially in the mid range with Mini Magician and Space Creator. He's already giving us badges to combo with, bro. So you know what that means, chat? I gotta make a build with uh, Agent 3s, man. I already said that in one of my videos, but it's gotta happen, because I gotta be fading, bro. I'm gonna be fading. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He sent another tweet right here. What's this one to man? Okay. So here it is. At Baluba, 6'5 considered a small. No, 6'5 is the minimum height for swings. You gotta be 6'4. I wonder if all the dribble moves from like 90 and above are gonna be locked underneath that 6'4 threshold. Cause if so, that's gonna kinda suck. Cause a lot of the good moves are gonna be at least 90 or 92 this year. That's gonna suck. I hope it's not the case though. Wait, so just for clarification, does this mean you can't make a point guard taller than 6'4"? Okay, this is the one we're looking at. The 6'4", or am I reading that wrong? Sorry if it's a dumb question. You can still make oversized PGs, but you have to be 6'4 to get the small guard animations. Uh oh. Well, either we're going to have dribble moves that are effective as like taller guards, or you're going to see a whole bunch of small guys next year. Just so they can get certain moves and be able to have some type of success in the game. Okay. He said our real player percentage free throws gone. Real player percentage free throws are gone online. You can still use it offline. Yeah. I already knew that real player percentage is out of the game for online now. Okay. With real player percentage being out of the game, we have to time our layups and floaters now. Layup timing is still optional, but I highly recommend enabling it if you're comp yeah right so if my lab timing is on i time it horrible will i still make all the same lips i would if real player percentage is on meaning lab timing is just a boost no 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 you will miss more lips with bad timing than you would if you turn lab timing off but you won't blow wide open lips anymore even with bad timing and with layup timing on, you'll be able yeah. to make a lot more tough layups that you normally would miss with real player percentage. Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna be taking no layups, bro. If I'm that far into the paint, I'm dunking on you. There ain't no layups here. What's your favorite improvement for 2K22 to 23? My favorite thing is probably the shooting skill gap. Second might be the controllable rim hangs on the new gen. I wish I'd just say next gen like the rest of the community. The shooting skill gap, yeah, we'll see. Because they always mess with the sliders, bro. We will definitely see about that. At Baluba, in your opinion, if my driving layup is an 85 plus, is it best to have a layup timing off or on? I feel like we missed a lot of layups last 2K with high ratings. Definitely try both. But you'll have a higher but you have a way higher sling with layup timing on. Also if you're making a slash you might want to appreciate skill dunks. You can do a lot of damage if you get good at both those things. You know what? Let's send him a tweet real quick. Hey, yeah, I let these words flow out like water from a spout, like rain from the clouds, rest the pain from the crowd. Cause these words go deep for my soul when I speak. Then the flows hit the souls of all those that I reach. If I die for I wait, hope my songs live on. Will they miss me when I'm gone? And the for how long? So much shit is on my brain. Try hard to maintain. Sit and analyze my thoughts at times. I wonder if I'm sane. Man, it's hard to trust friends when the paranoia. I'd ask that question. I'll give you guys an update on if he replies back. Yeah, 
We'll see. I don't think so, though, but... All right, let's get on to it. Will interior defense be buffed this year? Paint mashing... Excuse me. Overruled interior defense ratings last year. From all of our internal and external playtesting sessions, I'm pretty confident that mashing is dead. If there's an exploit there, we'll patch it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we'll, we'll see about that one. If there's an exploit, we'll patch it. Okay. I'm going I'm to hold you to it, Mike Wayne. I'm going to hold you to it, gang. Let's see. Well, we got a series of tweets now. At Baloo, but can we expect to make builds that are evenly spread to do multiple things? Or with the attribute point system, will we fall into making role players and work as a team? He said, I can see it going both ways. You can spike a couple towers and be great at fewer things. Yeah, fewer things or choose to be more well-rounded and just good at everything. I think teams that build role players and work together will be more successful than a team of do-it-alls. But just speculating. Do you think sharpshooters will be great this year? I felt like last year since everyone could shoot, sharpshooters sharp weren't really necessary. Sharps are going to be a very important asset this year. Trust me, a lot of people are going to struggle to shoot. Ooh. What about making center builds as a 75 three ball? Can it be effective or we're going to play shots and paint beast all over again? Stretch bigs can be very effective. 75 three point might be a little low for most people, but if you're really good with shot timing and take wide open J's, you can be a threat. Okay, so you're still gonna be able to shoot with a 75 three ball. And I don't, I don't have a problem with that because I don't believe you should leave anybody open. The fact that people want to see like, oh, you got this build, so I know you can't shoot, that's boring, bro. Like, actually play the game, it's a virtual basketball game. Stop being lazy. Like, play real defense, man. Oh, there's still more? I didn't even know there was more. Let me see. Um, at Baluba, what is your favorite layup package and did MJ get an upgrade to his dunk package? My favorite layup packs are MJ, Book, and Levine. Magics are pretty epic, too. Okay. Okay. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I'm going to be trying to send people stuff to the moon. No, I ain't going to lie. At Baluba, am I... In, uh, uh, is the my player... Is the my builder this year for current gen going to also allow us to use sliders for... Other uh, physicals like next gen. The current gen builder was built off a of 2K22 next gen's builder. Oh, okay. So current gen is gonna get our builder from this year, essentially. Um, a lot of people ask what three point rating is needed to be consistent in 2K23. It depends on what you consider consistent. You shot your shot selection and stick skills, but if you plan to shoot a lot of threes, I personally would try to go to mid to high 80s at a minimum but some of you sweats <laughs> he actually called people sweats that's insane he said but some of you sweats <laughs> uh that's insane we'll probably be able to get by with high 70s either way be prepared for a tougher shooting year than last year's online at least until you get your ratings up and badges equipped uh oh wait a minute at least until you get your ratings up and badges equipped there's gonna be people with small builds that don't have, I mean not small builds, but big builds that have a really slow, like really low three point rating with certain badges and they're gonna green, probably. Someone's gonna always break the game, but. Yeah, it seems like everybody's asking about three balls and everything. But hey y'all, if you haven't, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, that was a whole bunch of news. I just threw a lot at y'all. Make sure to go ahead and comment down below what y'all think is gonna be exciting for 23. And until later, y'all, it's me, your boy Easy Dubs TV. I'm signing off, y'all. Y'all be easy. Peace.